Fafa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path of the Network Marketer. Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. I have a quick question for you. Are you feeling overwhelmed? Do you feel, okay, so actually, now that I think about it, it's more than one question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but then the next question is, do you feel like you're hitting your head against the wall and that you're spinning your wheels but getting nowhere? Do you feel like you're at your wit's end with everything that, that you're taking on right now and everything that you're doing? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, then you may be actually closer to burnout than you think. Now, I wanted to have this conversation today because, well, it's been uh, in a lot of talks lately in the entrepreneurial world and in the marketing world. And it's one that we often visit as entrepreneurs, right? It's a conversation that we have pretty regularly because, honestly, it's a real thing, right? As entrepreneurs, we are very driven individuals, right? Where we have a natural inclination to take on a lot of responsibilities and wear a lot of hats and do a lot of that heavy legwork and lifting ourselves. And it's not that, you know, we don't trust anybody else to help us or we we don't trust anybody else uh, uh, to do the work or think that they're incapable. It's just that, again, we're just naturally inclined to be this way. Um, It's that drive. It's it's that desire to create the outcomes that we want to create mind you if we really have to be careful and and mindful that that drive doesn't actually drive us into the ground um, and that we maintain a balance of 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 care and and attention to ourselves and our own well-being as we do to making the the entrepreneurial venture making that vision um, a reality you know creating the outcome that we want to create so I wanted to have this conversation with you today and share with you some of the things that I'm doing, especially now that it's the holidays, right? Um, this is a time I think that it's really important to slow down and reflect. Um, you know, it's a symbolic renewal uh, in terms of you know, the new year coming around. So, you know, look back at what your year has been this year, 2022. And then, and then it's, a, it's a good place, a, a platform, a jumping off point to look at what you want to do in the next 12 months in 2023. But the important thing is really just pumping the brakes a little bit and understanding that your business isn't going to come tumbling down if you take a couple of days off for for the holiday. Right. Take two or three days off this weekend. I think this this episode is actually going to be released um, on a Saturday. So that's what the 24th. It's Christmas Eve uh, for those of you that celebrate Christmas. so yeah, it's okay to do that. It's okay to do that uh, because again, um, uh, you know, we wanna we wanna be able to to always remember and stay attached to why we're doing the thing in the first place, right? Why we're we're building our businesses in the first place. Uh, again, we get so honed in and 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 fixated on uh, the outcomes that we want to create with our business that we sometimes lose sight of of the purpose and intention um, that of why we're creating it, right? Namely, whatever that might be for you, but for a lot of people, it's it's spending more time with family, especially you know if you have kids. This is that time of year where you need to really make time. So here's here's a couple of things that that I do personally in my life um, that has allowed me to make sure that I stay balanced. And and you know I like I throw that word around loosely because balance um, isn't necessarily a thing in in terms of how people are talking about or at least how some some sectors of the population talk about balance um, I, I mean more that you know so that you have um, th- that the scales aren't tipped too far to, to one side that you push yourself into burnout um, again it's also actually a really important conversation right now in light of the recent passing of Stephen Twitch boss right um, you know and, and the circumstances around his death so I, I want to make sure you're taking care of yourself right and so here are some things that for me um, have been really helpful to make sure that that my scales um, the pendulum doesn't tip too far to one side um, number one sleep 
<laughs> right? I know it seems it seems like a no brainer, but there's so many studies that have been um, that have been published over the last couple of decades that really highlight the importance of sleep. And and I get it, right? Like in the hustle culture, especially here in the U.S., you know, since the '80s, it was all about just grind, 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 hustle, 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 and and you know, we'll sleep when we're dead. Yeah, well, if you don't sleep, you're gonna die. Right, your body needs to reset. Your body um, needs to take a break, and and so I would say at least seven to eight hours of sleep is what's going to really maximize your longevity. It's going to maximize your energy and your output because if not, well, you're not giving your time, your body enough time to recover, right? And if that means shutting off your your devices or or at least distancing yourself from your devices uh, during those time the, those times of days that that your body needs to reset whatever that might be I know people's you know circadian rhythms are are all different, um, but when it's time to sleep it's time to sleep, right? So, like let go of your device because here's the thing again entrepreneurs we're always thinking of the next thing we're always thinking of oh, what else do we need to do and if you have your device next to you when it's time to go to bed and reset you're you're always gonna be working right um the next thing then is don't always be working i did say it's okay to take a break but also understand especially for those of you with family especially for those of you with family with young kids compartmentalize right when your work is done for the day in your business then let it be done for the day so that you can then make sure that you're being present and in the moment with the people that you care about and that's why again that's why we're building these things in the first place right like um, we're building a business not to get lost in the business and 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 to forget about everything else um and, you know we we don't want to get so fixated on growing and building this thing that we forget why we're growing and building this thing and growing and building this thing in the first place again for a lot of people, it's spending more time with the people that they care about. And for me, it's the same thing. I don't have a family necessarily, or I don't have kids, um, but I love, you know, I, I really am all about um, experience and time that we have here on this earth. And to be, to, to maximize that time doing the things with, um, that I love to do with the people that I love to do those with, right? Um, so compartmentalize. It's okay to shut off. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, actually, I encourage you to shut off. Make, give yourself a, a specific time of day. Once your work is done, don't think about business and just be present with the people that, that you care about. The next thing is nutrition. <laughs> like, again, it's like sleep. It's kind of a no-brainer, but it's, 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 so, it, it's surprising how few people actually pay attention to it. And again, especially it's the holidays. It's easy to just go off the rails. But understand, if you're not giving yourself, giving your body um, uh, nutritious fuel, then it's not going to operate and function at its, uh, you know, at its uh, maximum potential, at its best. Um, uh, you know, it's it's gonna you're gonna feel run down, you're gonna feel tired, and and you won't be able to optim optimize your own output and creativity as you're as you're working towards your goal. So make sure you're you've, you're eating a, a balanced and nutritious uh, diet, right? Uh, for me, I this makes a huge difference. And and you know, again, it's one of those things that studies have shown a direct correlation relation between what's going on with your gut versus what's going on with your mood and vice versa right all of this this uh, this mechanism of our of our of our physiology uh, it all works together and 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 if one if you're not feeding one thing um, the right balance of, of nutrition it affects the other right if you're not giving your body and, and your digestive system good food and nutritious um, and a nutritious balanced diet then then your mind isn't going to operate properly your your emotional and mental health is going to be out of whack and vice versa if you're not feeding your mind good and positive input then then your body is going to end up being out of whack if you're not thinking good and healthy positive thoughts then it's going to affect your 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 body's output it's going to affect how you carry yourself it's going to affect your energy level so it's all a balance and you got to you got to really really maintain that and if again if you don't devote time to and energy and and thought into maintaining that side of things then the rest of it is going to be all of whack all out of whack and you're, you're going to be more likely to to reach and and cross into uh, burnout right 
So, so, you know, make sure you have these kind of things that, that are balanced out and, 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 and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I think again, it's, it's that time of year where it can be very, very reflective. Um, and it's, so it's okay to be reflective and it's okay to take time and pause. Uh, I know I'm very busy. I understand. I mean, I have a podcast to do every day. I have to make sure that, that I have content through the holiday season so that I'm not recording while everybody else is opening up presents, right? Or, you know, everybody's stuffing their face at, at Christmas dinner and I'm, I'm sitting here recording content. No, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm definitely putting in a lot of work now. So that, you know, I, cause I understand that I do want to take a break and that I not only want to, but I need to for my own well being, so that I don't get pushed. So that, so that I don't push myself into that burnout. Right. So take a break, take care of yourself. It's an important thing to do because, you know, we can again, lose sight of why we're doing this thing in the first place. And if you're not healthy, then, then you can't spend time and, and, and have amazing experiences with the people that you care about, with your loved ones, with your family. Um, and, and ultimately, again, that's, that's why most of us do this thing in the first place. So take a break, take a breath, and treat yourself good. So that's the message for today. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, you know, if you're listening to this on the holidays, have an amazing holiday season, whichever holiday that you celebrate. Um, and uh, yeah, well, more to me, more, more to come from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.